Uh, hey guys, in this video we will be discussing the factorization of quadratic expression. Now quadratic expression is that expression in which the highest power of variable is 2. As we can see, there are two forms of this type of equation. One uh, that's written over here. In this type of equation, we have uh, the variable with power 2, a term containing the variable with power 2 and then second term with uh, variable power 1 and then third term in which there is no variable seen. So uh, example of this kind of equation is uh, written over here and to solve this type of equation what we usually do we usually multiply this with this we multiply the coefficient of the x square term with the last uh, term that contain no variable so uh, what we get uh, in this equation uh, 9 multiply with 32 we have 288 so what we do uh, next is we actually uh, make factors of 288 and uh, those factors must uh, be equal to that term when they are simplified actually we uh, call this method middle term breaking because in this uh, method we um, uh, we usually uh, divide this term into two factors and these factors are of actually uh, this value 288 so now uh, we are checking this down we can make factors by prime factorization as well two ones are two fours and fours simply two sevens two two thirty six and then two eighteens then two nines and then three three now these are all our, uh, prime factors of this term we will be arranging these uh, factors in uh, in the order that they sum up to make minus thirty six now uh, what these factors will be uh, let me check 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 and 3 3 to the 9 9 to the 18 and 18 and 16 is are and that's not gonna work another attempt 3 3s are 9 9 2s are 18 18 2s are 36 and 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 now this is not yeah uh, we can also do this like this 3 2s are 6 6 2s are 12 12 twos are 24 and 3 twos are 6 6 twos are 12 so 12 and 24 by adding these two we will get uh, 36 what will be the sign convention of these values that is another thing that we need to understand actually uh, we have to sum these two things to make minus 36 and when these things are multiplied since 24 and 12 are the two factors of 288 then they are uh, going to make this value uh, it is obvious but minus and minus when they are multiplied the answer will be positive and since 9 and 32 both were positive the answer is plus 288 so uh, minus 24d and minus 12d are the best factors 
uh, for uh, our required factorization process um, now what is next what is the next step in, in this step uh, we will simply um, we will simply take common from the first two terms and uh, in 9 and 24 what is common I guess it's 3 and uh, D so 3 D is remaining from the first term and 3 8s are 24 so 8 is the common from the second term now in the next term uh, we have I guess 4 is common 12 in 32 no minus 12 I'm removing this rough work minus 3d and then since minus is common the plus will also going to be changed into minus now uh, 4 8s are 32 since these two uh, factors are common in these two terms we will take them common so 3d minus 8 if we take common from the from these two terms now from first term it's 3d and from second term it's 4 9 minus 4 these are the two factors of the given equation now another type of question that we have are ax square minus bx b square form it means bo uh, both terms are in the form of perfect square the both are perfect squares and when two terms are perfect square and one containing x means a variable then it is also a form of quadratic expression and this kind of quadratic expression is the most simplest to solve because in this uh, type of quadratic expression we simply apply the identity of a square minus b square that is equal to a plus b and a minus b so this term first of all what we need to do is to make them in the form of whole square now 4b is a whole square of 2b when we uh, square 2b then it changes into 4b square and 81 is the square of 9 now simply what we are going to do is we will uh, apply this identity now a square minus b square is equal to 2b plus 9 and 2b minus 9 that's it this is the way to solve these type of questions uh, hope you will understand